fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Diving Doris is 13, and she is the diving queen. She can do a flip because she knows she's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, she's got go power. There she goes. Mm. She's feeling her Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. That's a mighty good idea for you. Just make sure you eat a big bowl of Cheerios and milk every breakfast and you'll get go power too. Because a Cheerios breakfast is loaded with proteins, vitamins, and minerals. The very things that help build healthy bodies, strong bones, good red blood, and muscles. Why, they'd be the sort of breakfast you'd go for even if they didn't taste so good. And they do taste delicious. Cheerios are a real oat cereal, already cooked with that delicious toasted oat flavor. So that's for you. Swell-tasting Cheerios and milk for Go Power. Eat them every morning and you'll hear... She's feeling her Cheerios. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Away! Gunner Hooker was a tough killer and clever at avoiding the law. For some time, he had led a small gang in the Southwest Territory, and his successful evasion of the law caused him to believe he was infallible. One day, Gunner and his three followers waited behind boulders on the slopes of a wide valley near the town of Rockport. Gunner was saying, The express from the east carries plenty of valuables, men. The log barricade we put on the tracks down there will bring the train to a stop when we move in. Right. Good. Senor, you wouldn't make us all rich before long, but I hope you'll not make the mistake now by having us hold up a train. There are only four of us. Four good gun slicks are better than a dozen who are only average, Carlos. Uh, well, don't worry, Gunner. Whatever you say goes with us, eh, Mingo? Yeah, sure. That's right, Carlos. We're with you all. The Eastern Express is coming. Have your guns handy, and when I give the word, we ride out shooting. The Lone Ranger and his Indian friend Tonto rode a ridge trail overlooking a wide valley. Train comes through valley from east, Kimasabi. Yes, we'll stop and watch it go by, Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, me think you know me like watch trains, eh? <laughs> yes, and they have a certain fascination for me, too, Toto. I think most people are secretly fascinated by the sight of a train speeding by. Ah, it takes people places plenty fast. That's right. In the hobby, uh, something wrong. Train stopping near end of valley. It's a hold-up. Montilla! Breakneck speed, the masked man of Indian rode down into the valley toward the train, which had stopped. Use your gun, Toto. As they approached, they saw the horsemen, four of them, turn and ride away in different directions. Without stopping, the Lone Ranger pursued one of them, while Toto started after another. The man whom the Lone Ranger was chasing turned and looked back, then fired. The bullet fell short. Then as the masked man moved closer, he saw the fleeing rider holster his gun and knew it was empty. I will move up on him. Come on, big fella. Gradually, the distance lessened between the two men. Then the Lone Ranger reached for his lariat. A moment later, no. it snaked forward and tightened about the outlaw's chest. Hey. Silver instinctively broke his stride and braced himself. 
Easy, tell him, big fella. Hey, what's the idea? A mask on me. Get up and put your hands behind you. Get up. All right. Quickly, the Lone Ranger tied the crook, then helped him onto his horse and bound him securely to the saddle. Uh, that will hold you. Hey, I, I don't get it. What are you going to do? Then you to the sheriff in Rockport. Now, hold on. You're an owl hoot yourself. Why think what you like? You're going to jail. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Other step way, him a hurry. Hey, an Indian on a pink. Now I get it. A masked hombre on a white stallion riding with an Indian. You're the Lone Ranger. That's right. Well, wouldn't you hook a here's it is. Got a hooker? Yeah. I see you heard of him. We're here to find Hooker and his gang. Otto, we'll take this man to the sheriff in Rockport. All right, let's go. I'll lead his horse. You ride behind him. Uh-huh. Easy, city, big fella. Come on, there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. When they reached the outskirts of Rockport, the Lone Ranger and Toto stopped in a grove with their prisoner. Oh, there, oh, 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 oh. Otto, you take the prisoner to Sheriff Dale. Tell him what happened, that this man is one of Gunner Hooker's gang. Uh-huh. Ask the sheriff to come here to talk to me after he jails the prisoner. Ah. Uh-huh. Me take him to Sheriff now. Get him up. Come. 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 Within a short time, Toto returned with Sheriff Dale. Good morning, Sheriff. Very happy, Missy. Haven't seen you and Toto since you helped me capture the crooks who robbed the bank two months ago. I'm mighty glad to know you came to hunt the hooker gang. Thanks to you, we have one of them anyway. Maybe we can get him to talk, eh? I doubt it, Sheriff. But we got to find some way to get to him and the rest of his men. They're all a bunch of killers. Sheriff, if that prisoner should escape, he'd head immediately for Hooker's hideout. Yeah, but he won't escape. He's well guarded. Oh, you don't get my point. Yeah? I suggest you arrange to let him escape. Of course, it must be done in such a way that he'll not suspect it was arranged. Well, I get it. You think if he gets away, he'll head for the hideout, and then we'll follow his trail, is that it? Yes. In that way, we'll be able to capture the entire gang. Well, it's a little unusual, but by Sunday, it'll be worth trying if it means grabbing Hooker and his men. We counted four when we saw them leaving the scene of the train hold up a while ago. Uh-huh. But that small gang has done more damage and killed more people than many a big one. That's why we must take drastic means to capture them. All right, mister. I'll go along with your plan. Just tell me how you think we ought to go about it. All right, Sheriff. First, have a posse waiting in the grove behind the jail. Okay. Then instruct the guard carefully. Now, when he takes food to the prisoner, tell him to unlock the door. Meantime, in a hideout shack in the nearby hills, Gunner Hooker paced the floor as he talked to his two pals. I doubled back and saw the hombres of court case, a masked man and an Indian. They headed for Rockport. But, Gunner, I don't stop him. Why those outlaws led him toward town? Don't be a fool, Carlos. The masked hombre is a lone ranger. I, I have hear much about him. Yeah, so have I. That means they turned Jake over to the law, Gunner. That's right. You think Jake was caught, maybe? You know better than that. Yeah. Let me see. If I was a masked hombre, just what would I do in a case like this? If I couldn't get a prisoner to talk, I'd be stumped. Unless... Unless what, Senor? Unless the prisoner escaped. Uh-huh. Then I'd follow him to the hideout. But how could Jake escape? He'd be well guarded. Yeah, he'll be well guarded. So if he does escape, it'll only be by arrangement. Oh. You mean they might let him escape? Huh? That's what I'd do if I were the lone ranger, Rusty. Yeah. Yeah, the more I think of it, the more it makes sense. So it's up to us to take precautions in case Jake gets out of that jail. Late that afternoon, Sheriff Dale sat at his desk waiting for the guard to return from the cafe with a prisoner's food. His office was a large one-room building with two cells facing a corridor that led to a rear door. 
The sheriff glanced at Jake, sitting sullenly on the cell bunk. Then the guard entered. Well, Sheriff, here's the tray for the prisoner. Good. We'll feed him early and get it over with. <laughs> now that you're back, I'm going to the cafe. When the deputy comes in, tell him to stable our horses that are still at the hitch rack behind the office. We won't need them anymore this evening. Yeah, all right, Sheriff. I'll see you later. All right. Well, I might as well give you your supper, mister. Balancing the tray on one hand, the guard, following instructions, used his other hand to unlock the cell door. As he opened the cell door, he dropped the keys. Oh, doggone it. Here, you take the tray while you I take get... this. No. Oh. So long, you lunkhead. and Potley watched as Jake rode hurriedly away. It works. Here he goes. Now we'll tell him to the hideout. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Oh. The masked man and the Potley kept out of sight as they followed the tracks left by Jake. About a mile from town, they started up a rise when... Sheriff, I heard a shot up ahead. Yeah. Now let's hurry. Come on, Silver. Get up, get up. Hey, look. Somebody landed on the trail. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, great day. If you stay prisoner. Sheriff, I didn't realize this would happen. Gunner Hooker must have anticipated our plan. You mean the prisoners? Our plan has failed, Sheriff. The escaped prisoner is dead. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All along the country, in every direction, all you're doing is the question, and here's one that the happy people have to pay. That's the word up north. Just ask the champion. Up north, we know what Wheaties mean to guys like Slug and Harvey Keen. We love to see him belt that ball and make the fielders climb the wall. And Richie Ashburn, yes, indeed, he plays baseball at Wheaties speed. Just watch him flash from base to base. This boy could win in any race. Yes, sir, Harvey Keen and Richie Ashburn are longtime Wheaties fans. Both of them know there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Keep on eating your Wheaties, and you'll be doing an okay, okay. Now to continue. The Lone Ranger knelt a moment by Jake's body in spite of the fact that Jake would have been hanged for murder if he hadn't escaped. The masked man had a feeling of remorse that his plan had brought about the outlaw's death. He stood up, saying, I'm sorry about this. I didn't realize Gunner Hooker was clever enough to foresee our plans. Well, there's no need to feel bad about it, mister. This killer was going to hang anyway. I'll have someone take the body back to town, and then we'll search the hills for Gunner and his pals. Now, Sheriff, Tom and I'll leave the posse for a while and try to find the tracks of the man who ambushed the prisoner. We'll join you later. Yes, you see, Missy. Let's go, Tonto. Uh-huh. Easy. Come on. The Lone Ranger was more determined than ever to find Gunner and his men. He and Tonto left the trail and carefully searched behind nearby boulders and in a nearby gully for signs of the man who had killed Jake. Finally, behind a large boulder, Tonto stopped. Oh, scout. Oh, oh, fella. Oh. Hey, he's scouting. Look, he must have it. Down, so someone stand here. Easy, steady. Hmm. The 
with an empty rifle shell. The killer's an expert shot. Ah, ground plenty hard here. But me see sign that say fella go back under pine trees. And maybe leave horse there. What sign do you see, fella? Uh, look there. Okay. Stone show white underside. Hmm. It mean it's just been turned over. And there, grains of sand still fallen into mark made by boot. Yes, you're right. So follow the signs into the grove. Come on. Moving slowly and scanning the ground carefully, the masked man and Indian walked back into the pine grove. Here's where his horse stood, fellow. Ah. Hook marks be easier to follow. Yes, we got silver and scout. Two men followed the hoof marks from the grove and some distance away lost them in a shallow creek. Undaunted, the Lone Ranger and Toto started a careful and tedious search along each bank of the stream. Until once again, Toto's keen eyes saw something unusual. Wait, Kim, it's a bit. What, what, is it, it, oh, what is it? Look at that bank. Yes. A strange mark. Like someone used large branch to smooth over sand. That's right. We'll cross over and look around. Come on, Toto. Come, stop. upon which he was resting when Carlos entered. Well, Carlos, how did you make out? Anything happen? Yes, senor, you are very smart. What I just said. You mean Jake escaped from jail? See, si. He gave along the trail riding fast and heading for the hideout. Well? Poor Jake. He will never hang now. I'm sure he's dead. I took good aim and I do not miss often. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to have seen that masked man's face when he found the body. No, he is sure to realize you're too smart for him, eh, Gunner? Yeah. I hope you took plenty of precautions to cover your tracks, Carlos. Well, that is something for which I have a reputation, amigo. No lawman has ever been able to follow the trail of Carlos. In spite of that, we ought to think about leaving this territory, Gunner. With that masked man around, things are getting pretty hot. Don't worry about him. I've already proved I can outsmart him, haven't I? Yeah, I reckon you have at that. We are satisfied that you are more clever than the masked hombre, senor. Rusty, it'll soon be sunset. But until it gets dark, I think you better walk to the big boulders on the rise just up the trail. Mm -hmm. You can see for a mile from there, and you'll have time enough to get back and warn us if anyone's coming. The posse might be searching while it's light. Mm -hmm. All right. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had already passed the lookout point and had sighted the shack. They stopped in a nearby grove of cottonwood. Tonto, that must be the hideout. I'll move to the brush toward the front door. You circle and caught behind the shack to the back window. Ah. I'll move cautiously. We don't want them to spot us. All right, let's go. Tonto left the Lone Ranger, who moved carefully through the tall brush toward the front of the shack. He stopped a moment and crouched behind the brush as he eyed a side window of the building to make sure no one was watching. Suddenly... Reach, what? mister! Don't move. Well, this is a surprise. I have this gun right at your back, masked man. Oh, what now? I'm taking you to the shack as soon as I get your guns. I saw you sneaking through the brush. Lucky I left the shack before you got a chance to see me. Now, uh... I... I will keep you quiet. Good work, Tuttle. Uh, me over yonder. See brush moving behind you. Good time and leave him here. Then we'll go to the shack for the other two. In the 
track, Gunner and Carlos sat down to play cards. I'll deal first, Carlos. I hope, senor. You give me better cards than I usually get. Ah, uh, you're just not as lucky as I am, Carlos. Reach him, please. Oh, the mask plan. Drop the gun. Oh, get him, Carlos. You drop gun. Me at window. They try it, but he will not hang. Hold it. Oh. I'll pick up the gun. Cover them, Toto. Uh. All right, I have their guns. Now come in and tie them while I keep them covered. Ah, uh, you... You and that rich can think you're smart. Maybe. So, Gunner, you did not outwit them after all. And I don't tell you why Rusty didn't see them and warn us. Your pal Rusty is tied up outside. You must have it. Yes. Riders coming on a long trail. Me, you think them puffy. Good. They must have heard the shot. Tie these two killers, Toto. Uh-huh. It took only a few moments for Toto to tie Gunner and Carlos securely. Just as he finished, the sheriff and his posse stopped outside the shack. Hey, Tim, do you cut it? We heard the shooting and came on the gallop, but it looks like you got everything under control. The third man is tied up a short distance from the shack, Sheriff. All three of them will hang for the murder of that escape prisoner. You can't blame me for that. Carlos is the one who shot him. Huh? Now he is willing to get Carlos hanged to save his own neck. But listen. There is much I can tell you of others he has killed. Murder warrants are out for all of you. That's right. We'll pick up the hombre who's outside and take the three of them to jail for murder. Otto and I left our horses in a nearby grove, Sheriff. We'll go get them and join you later in town. Adios, everybody. Adios. Adios. So, Senor Gunner, you think you are the clever one, eh? You think you can outsmart the masked hombre like you do so many others, eh? Oh, shut up. If you covered your tracks like you should have, that masked man and Indian wouldn't have found this hideout. You're nothing but a lunk-headed fool. You're the fool, Gunny. For thinking you could ever hope to outsmart that masked man. He's human enough to make a mistake once in a while, but by my way of thinking, there's no crooks or killers who can outsmart the Lone Ranger. I don't know. copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to The Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.